Hello, my friends. So I've been doing a lot of PTR testing on the 9.2 PTR, looking at Feral Druid, looking at some Survival Hunter as well. If you want to see me doing that live, then make sure you come check me out on twitch.tv slash cybestslat where I'm doing a lot of PTR testing actually and checking out the different tier sets and different legendary combos and that kind of thing. Right now, we don't have access to two legendaries, but we can definitely speculate on some things that we might be doing or some combinations that we might be having. But this video today, I'm going to focus just specifically on Feral and just talk about exactly what's going on on PTR because there's so much to cover already that I just thought this deserves its own video. And actually, I'm thinking of putting on a Feral Druid talk once more. It's something I've done in the past. I'm looking to do that again, chat, and I'll probably invite a couple Feral Druids you know, maybe maybe a PvP representative, raid representative, a theory crafter, that kind of thing. And we'll have a big old discussion, talk about the tier set, talk about Feral in 9.2, all things that still need to, you know, happen and changes that still need to come in. So that's something that I might be doing. Let me know in the comments if that's something that you want to see. And yeah, um, what kind of topics you'd like us to discuss, uh, to discuss, if there are any questions or anything you want us to cover, or any things you want to highlight to the devs and stuff, then please let me know in the comments below. Um, but apart from that, let's get into this video. So uh, I'm going to showcase here a little bit of the gameplay of me doing a PTR key. So like I was saying, we don't have access to two legendaries right now. We can only equip one at a time on PTR. I'm hoping in January that we're going to be able to equip two, but we'll have to wait and see depending on what Blizzard's kind of schedule is with the PTR. We might not be able to test two. I don't really know what the hell their plan is uh, with any of that, so we'll see. But um, you'll see right here in this VOD, so like, watch this, right? So Feral right now, I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, everything's about to group up, I use my Convoke, boom, then I press my Berserk, and then suddenly this is where everything's gonna start bleeding up, and this, yes, I know I'm losing to a Guardian Druid, but still, I'm managing to peak up to about 40, 50k or so, which is a lot better than the place that we're in right now. I know this doesn't specifically look amazing, but I believe that this was... Um, like when we've done, I've done this a couple times and I was able to peak up to like 60, 70 K or so. And there was a pull in like necrotic wake. I was able to go up to 80 K. You're going to see on the first boss, watch the first boss. Cause we're going to do a trash pull with that. And I think again, I peak up to like 70, 80 K or something like that. So just watch for the whole video. There are going to be some moments. I know we're losing to a guardian druid, but there's obviously still some tuning that needs to come in and things like additional legendaries and stuff that could have some impact. But I mean, you'll get my full opinion as we go through this video, but just just saying right now, just initially, it's a lot better than we're currently doing in Myth Plus, which is a great sign. So um, this video is obviously gonna cover just all aspects of, of the tier set and, and those kinds of things and legendary combinations, but I am gonna focus a little bit on Mythic Plus because I think in Raid, we're actually looking pretty solid in general, and I think that we're actually going to be one of the best specs for the Raid. And I am I feel fairly confident in saying that. I know it's a bit too early to say, and we have to look at what all the other specs are going to do, but I feel pretty confident in Feral in the Raid because of the legendary combinations that we're going to have, the amount of damage that we're currently doing, and the fact that we're only getting single target buffs here. Like, we're just going to be doing more of what we already do. We're strong in Castle Nathria. We are strong in Sod. I think that's what it is. And we're going to continue to be strong. And I think we're going to be a really, really good contender for, you know, the high end spots. Probably not going to be the race sword first, but I think we're still going to be in a solid position. And you'll definitely be able to play it in, you know, in any guild that you're playing in. Well, so, um, so what is this tier set giving us then? So this tier set is going to give us a couple things. It's giving us Funnel if we're playing it with Apex, right? Because if we're playing, or, or well, this is what this is gonna come in 9.2. If we play Apex in Mythic Plus, which we likely will, because we're gonna get, you know, the more mobs that are bleeding from our Primal Wrath, the more free bites we get, the more free bites we get. First of all, we're gonna get more damage onto a single target. Like right now, imagine if I had Apex here in this situation, I'd be able to funnel all the damage from Primal Wrath on these ads into free bites onto uh, Crixus here. So that's the kind of thing that we'd be able to offer here. And then um, we'd also be getting a reduction on our Berserk. So we're likely in Mythic Plus, probably gonna be playing Apex. Can't confirm it yet, but that could be a thing. In which case we'll be getting Funnel in Mythic Plus and in any raid bosses where there's large AOE. So that's really cool. 
having funnel means that you can bring like a feral druid or a rogue or something like that or i know frost mage is really good at funnel as well so it just allows more options whereas right now it's like oh why bring a feral druid we actually do less damage the more mobs that get pulled onto a boss right with that pull that we just did where i peaked up at 80k if this was on live that would have been like a 16k burst i would have done less damage because my convoke would have been poor my berserk would have been okay but i would have done less actual boss damage whereas now i do i would do more if i had apex in that and we're continuing to do aoe and killing all the aoe mobs so it's a really cool like foundation for feral right now in 9.2 what else has this given us so it's given us funnel if we're playing apex we're also going to get shorter CD, uh, cd on our berserk which is huge so we're going to be knocking it down to about two minutes we might be able to we can get it down to two minutes flat even in raid on a single target and get it down to about two minutes with apex or frenzy band we might be able to get it a little bit closer to like maybe one minute 30 one minute 40 but i don't know that that's necessarily going to be worthwhile because you either get it down to one minute two minutes or three minutes if you get it to 130 or 230 it doesn't matter because then you're holding for the next convoke so you want to kind of hit those minute thresholds right so if we can't get it down to a full minute which i don't think we'll be able to that would be pretty crazy then I don't know that you necessarily care about taking Frenzy Band or Apex for the reduction of Berserk. We'll have to see in keys. I need to test this with, with Apex. With Frenzy Band, I don't think you'd ever really be playing it for the reduction because you don't get a great reduction on the Berserk, but you could play it for the more common bleed damage that you'd be doing. And imagine in AoE, if you've got Berserk every two minutes and then you can just swipe spam during your Berserk, and you've got AoE damage, you're doing 150% extra AoE damage on all your swipes to every mob, they're going to be bleeding on plus your swipe damage. Should be a nice little bolster to our AoE. On, so we're getting funnel damage, we're getting shorter CDs with our Berserk, and then we're getting burst AoE, which is huge, right? It's something that Feral lacks, and these are the three things that I think in dungeons that make a great spec. This is what every spec needs to have if they really want to compete in Mythic Plus. They need Funnel, they need short CDs, and they need Burst AoE. And that's what we're going to have. We're going to retain our really strong single target as well. So we're not really losing anything from this situation. Now, there are a few things in the build right now. You can notice things like Savage Raw. You'll notice the lack of Blood Talons. These kinds of things um, that may get moved around. I don't know. I'm still experimenting. But... We're not really losing that much single target. We might be changing some things around, but we're going to gain these three aspects to the fight, which is, or to Mythic Plus, which is really, really great. Um, so those are kind of the things that we're going to get added in 9.2. Now let's break down what my testing has actually been like. So the way that the tier set is working right now is the two set is obviously giving you reduction on your Berserk every time you use a finisher, depending on how many combo points you add, right? The four set is giving your berserk when you know press berserk it's going to do a massive aoe to all mobs 10 seconds and it's going to bleed for x amount of damage now the amount of damage that the targets are going to bleed from is dependent on multiple factors it does scale with some stats but it's working really weirdly so it cannot crit that's one thing to note so it does not crit at all it is snapshotting with mastery but it's not dynamically scaling with mastery. So you need to you need to build up mastery and then press your berserk if you want the mastery snapshot. But from speaking with people like Guilty, he's saying this is a bug and this isn't intended. Now, is it supposed to is it a bug that it's snapshotting? Should it be dynamic? Is it is it a bug that it's scaling with mastery at all? We need to figure out like what the devs want to do with this. I think it's really weird that it's not scaling with like it's not critable and it's not scaling with mastery or shouldn't be scaling with mastery because those are our two main DPS um, stats. And also mastery is all about our bleeds. And then we get given a new AOE bleed and it doesn't scale with our mastery. That to me just seems really bizarre. And for anyone saying, oh yeah, but Feral would be 2 OP, shut the hell up. You don't know what you're talking about. So. Yeah, those are kind of weird. It is, however, scaling with haste and it is scaling with verse. Which I think is weird because then in, you know, in raid, you wouldn't play around this tier set. You wouldn't play around the four set because it doesn't do that much damage on a single target. It's a nice extra, but it's not what you're playing around. You're playing more around your bites and your shreds and, well, actually just your bites. You're playing around your bites.
But in Mythic Plus, you would be playing around this two minute cooldown. You would be playing around this mass AoE Berserk uh, cooldown. So you would be going Haste Versatility, whereas in Raid, you could be going Crypt Mastery. So now we'd be in a position where we'd need two different, uh, two different gear sets and actually a third gear set if we were playing PvP. So that's a really weird realm to be in. Now, if you're already a Guardian Druid, then you're cool with having a Haste Verse set anyway, and then you can actually flex into Feral way more comfortably in Keys. But I just feel it's weird that it's scaling with Haste and Versatility are two worse stats, but then it's not critical and it's not intentionally scaling with our mastery. Just kind of weird, but that's something to discuss. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like the idea of having two different gear sets because you know what it's like if you're in raid and you can trade gear and you say to your raid leader, oh, hey, so this piece dropped for me. I looted it. It has haste versatility on. I don't need it for raid, but I need it for mythic plus. They're going to give it to somebody else who needs haste versatility. So it's going to take you a long time to build up the set that you need for mythic plus. And I just feel like that's just going to be strange that we have that. But maybe it's intentional by Blizzard. I don't know. The other thing is Savage Raw. So I mentioned it earlier in the video. The tier set is scaling with Savage Raw. So obviously you get the 15% increased damage from Savage Raw. That applies to the bleed. So if you Savage Raw and then you pop your Berserk, then you're going to get that 15% additional damage. So in Keys, it could be worth taking. I don't think you take it in Raid. In Keys, it's questionable. But I think the difference between Soul and Savage Raw is close enough that you could opt for playing Savage Raw here. And actually, I'm all for it. I like a more complex rotation with Feral, and I would like to go back to having, you know, a few more plates to spin, a few more balls to juggle. So Savage Draw is a potential play. I don't know that we're 100% going to do it. Obviously, if you play Savage Draw, then you're more energy starved because A, it's another thing that you have to maintain. You got to maintain your rip. Now you got to maintain Savage Draw, and then you also have to try and get some bites off. And you're losing Soul of the Forest energy regeneration. So you are going to be in more situations of energy starvation. However, if you're playing with Apex, where you're getting bites regularly anyway, then you're not that bothered about the energy starvation because you're just a bite bot anyway, and you just need to maintain Primal Wrath. And if you're, you've got one minute Convoke as well with Celestial Spirits, and you've got Tiger Fury every 30 seconds. So actually, you're not really in situations where your energy starve that much anyway, and you could even opt to play MOC. Because now in keys, less of our damage is coming from our bites and we're more um, concerned about the damage coming from our four set. So if we're playing around our four set completely anyway, then hey, maybe you play MOC. Actually, you get more globals because you're just swipe spamming. Maybe you'll get a few extra across the course of a key, help get some more reduction on your berserk consistently. And then you're getting more energy from playing MOC and you're gonna be in furious situations of energy starvation because you don't need to do this right. I need to pull, I need to do three abilities within this four second window, boom. So you have more freedom there with um, your energy restoration. So potentially you could play MOC. I think you could still get away with playing Blood Talons. When I was doing this key, I didn't feel energy starved at all. I felt like I could constantly spam and it was a little bit simplistic in gameplay, so maybe you end up playing Blood Talons, and then you retain still a pretty solid single target. MOC is not going to be as good as in single target as um, as Blood Talons would be. Then again, if you're playing Frenzy Banding Keys, and you're going to be swiping during your Berserk for large AoE, then if you can play MOC and buff that swipe damage, then you know that goes hand in hand together, and then you're just going all out on your AoE, and you're still playing things like Saber, and still getting pretty solid single target with you know, Frenzy Band with Celestial. I don't know, Feral's gonna be really cool to play in, in this new patch, I think. So, um, yeah, so I've kind of spoken about the extra gear set that we're probably gonna need. If you're wanting to do Raid, Mythic Plus, and PvP, you might potentially need three gear sets just to play Feral, which I don't really love. And you might need like three or four different Legendary. Um, so, also, you would probably play Dreamweaver instead of Nia, because with Nia, you gain mastery. Now, it is scaling right now with as a bug, so you could probably still play Nia if it goes live like this. But if they remove mastery scaling, assuming that's what they're doing, and it only scales with haste and versatility, then you would play Dreamweaver because there's a, a node there that gives you 15% haste when you use your Convoke. And if you're like Convoking with Bloodlust, like this right now, the, the Berserk that I'm about to do, the four set will do about 120k damage. That's as high as I've been able to get it. On one target, 120k damage, whereas normally it does about 60k or 50, 50, 60k. So I managed to like double the damage of it. Or I think I got it as high as like 130k. 
with testing on a single target with enough haste. If you have Bloodlust, if you have this Dreamweaver haste, if you have um, Savage Roar, you have all these things going for you, you have Tiger Fury active, then you can get it up to like 120, 130k damage on a single target. So imagine that in AoE as well, right? Really, really strong. So you probably switch over to Dreamweaver as well. Um, another thing then to discuss is the actual damage itself. Now, even with saying all of these things that I have and how Feral's going to be getting funnel, shorter CDs, burst AoE, and you think, wow, this is the dream. It's all coming true. Feral's going to be insane in Mythic Plus. It's not looking that way, right? If you look at the overall damage, yes, I'm top of the meters, but I'm barely above a Guardian Druid. And actually, the damage that I'm doing right now in 9.2 PTR with the two set, with the four set, with two, six, four item level or something like that. Remember, item level's going up, but also have way higher item level. Yes, my stats are kind of just gooned because I'm with, I'm on P, I have PvP gear on. So it's all like very versatility heavy. You can see I have 25% verse, 17% um, crit. You can see here on the screen 26% haste, 29% mastery. Yes, my stats are all over the place, but. Even so, and I'm 264 item level. Even so, I'm only doing 14 and a half thousand damage overall in this key. And we've been doing some pretty big pulls, more or less. I mean, Windwalker monks right now, frost mages, like warriors, like all these all these specs on live, boomkins, like they're all doing some of them are doing 17, 18k already. Imagine when they're then getting their four set and an additional legendary. Federal still is not going to be able to compete with the best specs, but we're definitely going to be in a position where we provide more meaningful things. So this is the discussion now, chat, oh, chat, uh, YouTubers. Uh, this is a discussion now is, is it enough? Does Feral need more? How do I feel about the tier set? So for me, my feelings on it are, I think it's fixing a lot of things for Feral, which has its pros and cons. So looking at it positively i think it's fixing a lot we're going to have a lot more when we come to keys the big thing when you get to high level keys is funnel damage that's massive if you don't have funnel then you're kind of meaningless we can't do these big pulls onto you know a shot of halkius or big pulls onto a boss because you're not funneling so it's wasted damage so there's no point and then you're less efficient with your timing you're less likely to time high level keys the funnel is really really important especially when there's things like shot of halkius mobs that need to die very quickly and if you don't have funnel, then those mobs are going to live a long time and your tank's going to struggle, your healer's going to struggle, and you're probably going to wipe. So funnel is really, really important in keys. So a short CD, so you always have something available because you don't want these packs that just sit and stagnate for a long time because you don't have damage for them. Then having the burst AoE is really, really strong as well because you want things to die quickly. Long drawn out bleed damage is not as good as quick burst damage because you want things to die so that your tank's not using too many defenses, your healer's not running out of externals, and you can actually live long enough to kill the pack. So having all these things is fantastic. And I love that this is being fixed for Feral. However, I don't like that it's being connected to a tier set because in 10.0 or 9.3, whatever the hell is happening with WoW after this patch, it's gone again and our borrowed power is gone. And then we go straight back to a three minute berserk. We lose, con you know, we'll eventually lose Convoke and we're just gonna be this meh very gross to play if you played the mage tower right go and play the mage tower and then imagine that when you know play with your tier set play with your two legendaries play with your convoke and then go and do the mage tower after that and you're gonna feel nasty so um yeah i don't like that they're trying to put it into a tier set i think they should fix these things with feral period and then give us a fun cool tier set as well but it's whatever this is how they're doing things now this is how blizzard is designing the game that's probably a video for another day to discuss those things. So I like some things about this set. I dislike other things. I don't like the fact that it's like we still need a buff elsewhere. We still need an AOE buff. Right now, Swipe is doing something like 8 to 9% of our overall damage. I feel like that needs to be higher if our AOE is going to compete with other specs. Yes, we've got some burst AoE now, but it's not quite enough to carry us. We need more just consistent AoE, generally speaking. That can come from Swipe, or that can come from the initial hit damage of Primal Wrath. Initial hit damage of Primal Wrath, depending on how you're playing in keys, will do about 5% of your overall damage. Crash, which is one of the worst uncapped AoE, uh, AoE abilities in the game, does about 3-4% to 4 of your overall. 
But right now, Primal Wrath spamming in large AoE is doing about as much as your Thrash anyway when you look across the course of the whole key. So I think buffing Primal Wrath initial hit damage could be good. Buffing Swipe, those things will not impact us in Raid because we normally don't play those talents, we're normally not swiping, and it won't impact us in PvP, because when you're playing Arena, you're not playing Primal Wrath, or swiping, really. So, I think that this would be a great way to buff our AoE without affecting our single target or affecting us in Raid, where we're already pretty strong. Apart from that, I don't like the fact that we're scaling with Hasten first, but not Crypt Mastery, because we need to play into that Crypt Mastery playstyle that just makes sense, or change all of our stuff, like change our Mastery around, change all the stuff where Haste first is the better option, and then give us this tier set that scales with Haste first. I think it's weird that, you know, you have the Mastery right there, increased damage if you bleed, it makes so much sense, you give us a 4 set bleed, and then, oh no, this isn't classed as a Feral Bleed or something like that. This isn't classed as a Cat Form Bleed, even though you only get this 4 set as a Feral Druid. So we're not going to increase the damage of, you know, with, with Mastery. Just weird. Uh, I think that could be changed. And it should also be able to crit. Anyone that's afraid of this being too strong clearly isn't paying attention to other specs like Windwalker Monk. Where was the tuning on that? What about Balance Druid able to burst upward of like, I've seen clips where it's bursting like over 100... 50k and stuff like that and all all those crazy kooky things there are a lot of specs right now that are really really good and i mean looking at survival hunter so survival hunter on ptr right now i did a key the other day i did 19,000 dps by the end of the key and it was the same level it was like a level 12 holes i did 19k dps comparable to this key where i think i end up doing something like uh 14 i mean let's let's jump to it right i end up doing this is going to be the end of the video. So I end up doing 5 million damage. I do 13.3k overall, which is barely more than what we do currently in keys. And 5 million of my damage was the new 4 set, which is really, really good. But then you just look at the whole rest of the spec and it's just like, look, Primal Wrath there, the initial hit damage doing 4.8%, four uh, Thrash doing 3% of your damage, Swipe there doing 9%, I don't know. I just think that our AoE could be buffed a little bit in some of these areas. And then Blizzard could give us trees or something if they want to, if they want to add more utility, because it, it, keys aren't all about damage. It's about what else you can bring through. But anyway, this has been a really long video. I've just had so many thoughts since I've been PTR testing this. I've had so many things that I wanted to get out. A lot of people coming into the stream, twitch.tv slash cyber slash asking, hey, Cy, what do you think of the tier set? What's happening? Is Feral good? Are we going to be strong? What's the deal? I wanted just to showcase this a little bit and give you my thoughts, give you my testing, the way that it's interacting at the moment. I'm not a theory crafter, but I am a feely crafter. Keys is what I'm doing all the time, all day, every day, and I like to feel these things out, and test them in this environment and see what we can really do here. So just take, you know, take this with a pinch of salt because I'm not a theory crafter and they're, you know, these are just kind of my own experiences and my own thoughts and what I've identified. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments. I'm going to be doing this Feral Druid talk probably in the new year now, probably early January is when I'll look to do it. And let me know if you have any questions for that. I'll try and compile those so I can ask the guys that I'm going to be having on. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. Thank you for watching. I know it's a long one, but hope you enjoy it and see you in the next one.